it feels like you already know most of the stuff. You're just spending all your time trying to prove it. Like it's you. F you feel like we understand the primes, but we just need to prove this stuff. Or or do the prime numbers contain things that we just don't know? Um. So for lots of natural questions about prime numbers, and in fact the vast majority of them, we normally have a pretty good guess as to what we think is true. So if I was a betting man to bet on prime numbers, I would be pretty confident that I would be able to bet the right way on virtually all of the big open problems on prime numbers. Um, however, for a pure mathematician, that means absolutely nothing. I really want to be able to prove things about prime numbers, and somehow when you prove a result, you really understand what's going on behind the scenes. You understand not only that this result is true, but you understand why this result is true. And that's the problems that we have at the moment about lots of these problems on prime numbers, that we have a good feeling as to what we think should be the case, but normally our justification for why we think that should be the case is, well, it checks out with the computer and things would have to be really bizarre and odd if that wasn't the case. But somehow we don't have a good understanding as to why prime gaps should be of this size, why twin primes should really exist, beyond some slightly wishy-washy arguments that, well, you might guess that if this didn't matter, then in this formula, if you just ignore these terms, then, well, it should be about this sort of size. Um, but to me, that's not understanding prime numbers at all. So for me, I really want to understand prime numbers. And for that, I need, a, need to have a proper mathematical rigorous proof, because that not only convinces me that the result is 100% correct, but also explains to me why the result is correct. I, yeah, I really, really like prime numbers. I view them as the most fascinating objects in mathematics that, on the one hand, they're utterly, utterly fundamental. So, you know, you're just looking at whole numbers, you're looking at adding them and multiplying them together, and from the point of view of multiplication, prime numbers are the atoms of arithmetic, that every number is built up uniquely out of prime numbers. So if you have any simple problem just about multiplying numbers together, you can hope to reduce it down to a problem about the building blocks, the prime numbers. And so they seem to me like the most inherently natural objects sort of in the universe. That I could imagine that if I went into some parallel universe or something, physics might be completely different, gravity might behave totally differently, forces might be odd, things would look odd, but prime numbers would still be the same because multiplication would be the same in any universe that I can possibly imagine. And so for me, they're the most fundamental objects in the world. And you'd naturally expect that anything that fundamental about something as simple as whole numbers should be completely simple and we should have solved all of this thousands of years ago. But it turns out that that's completely false, that we really don't understand these guys at all. Um, we really have the most limited theoretical understanding on them. And despite being the most fundamental objects, most of the most simple questions that you could possibly ask about prime numbers have been open for thousands and thousands of years, and the most famous mathematicians have thought about them and not been able to get anywhere. So for me, yeah, the idea of them both being so fundamental but so difficult at the same time is what really makes me love prime numbers. Numbers with no factors. And now it's getting harder and harder to break the world record of the biggest prime number ever found. And so the previous world record was three years ago. And if anyone has been watching number five videos for that long, you remember we uh, covered it. Tony did a video on the previous world record, and that record stood for three years. And now we have a